the Bible tells us exactly what love is and who to love and where love comes from too. Today we're going to continue our talk on love from Mark 12, 30 and 31 with loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength and loving your neighbor as yourself. Hi, we're Carrie and Nana with Forget Him Not. Our mission is to find creative ways to help you forget not the Lord. You got to remember, God has called you to love Him with your whole heart, to love your neighbor. Now, who is your neighbor? Think about people that you know that maybe are living in your neighborhood, maybe someone that's special to you. Actually, she's my neighbor. She lives 12 miles from me, but she's my neighbor mm -hmm. because she's right beside me. Yes. Your neighbor is whoever is around you at maybe, every moment. It may be a checkout person at the grocery mm -hmm. store. You know, it may be the library at the library. Um, they just can all be your neighbors. Could the be, people you know. Could be friends that you play sports with, mm -hmm. people that you go to class with, or that you are in school with, or even your sibling. Yeah. Your neighbor is whoever is around you. And how could you help them? How could you show love <clears throat> to them? Well, God said you love them as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. So you gotta think how you treat yourself and treat other people the way you would want to be treated. But most importantly, you have to love them the way God loves them. And He loves them selflessly. Not selfishly. Selfless. You, you put the other people above you. You become a servant to them and you help them. How can you help people that you know? You know, maybe sometimes somebody just needs a little card that reminds them, hey, I love you. Write, write a little note that yeah. says, I love you. You know, that's a special thing, especially for moms. Mama loves to get notes. Mom say, loves I love it. You. Grandmamas love it. Send mm -hmm. it to someone. For, Send it to your neighbor. Send for it someone, to someone, who, someone who may not have a family. You yeah. Know, who may be by themselves. Think of someone that you can show God's love to. Let's do some heart art. Art is always fun, and it's fun to do art because art can be used by you. It can be used to decorate your home or your room. It can be used to share. Um, so this is another way that you can share love is to make something for somebody else. Let's do some art. Grab your watercolor paper, a Sharpie marker, and let's start drawing hearts. As you draw a heart, think of loving God first. So draw a really big heart and then think of other people, neighbors that you also love and draw hearts for them. Too. Those hearts can overlap, be on top of each other, um, inside the heart. Just draw hearts, random hearts all over your paper. Once you have your hearts, now draw several lines across the paper. So we're kind of making a division. We're dividing the paper in sections with lines, and that can be a straight line, uh, an angled line, or it can be a curved line, a jagged line. Just draw you about three or four lines across your paper, and then we're gonna fill in each section with color. We're gonna show you a new technique today. For this project, you can use watercolor if you want to. I used water-based markers, but I used them like they were watercolor. So you can choose to use the watercolors and a paintbrush and just paint away. You could color it with a marker where it's just all marker colored, or you can use your water-based markers just like you would use watercolor and paint. So let me show you what I mean. That's what I did here. So do you see how you get this watercolor effect? I used a marker. So let me show you how to do that. This is watercolor paper. And I just used Sharpie markers to draw my design on the watercolor paper. Because a Sharpie marker is an, is an alcohol-based marker, when you use a paintbrush with water, it will not move this ink. It will only activate a water-based marker. So alcohol, water. All right, so now let's just pick our favorite markers, our colors that we wanna use. You're gonna color an area and then while it's still fairly wet, don't wait too long, grab a paintbrush with water and just start moving the ink, the marker ink around just a little bit. And it will actually do the same thing watercolors do. You can color each section where you see like this section and I kind of went over here just a little bit. I have a method to that. I'm going to mix 
a couple of colors together. And I wanted this orange to have a little bit of a red tint to it. And now I can take a paintbrush with water and move the ink around just like it was a watercolor paint. And that allows you to have those moments where it's darker into lighter. And on this one, I'm gonna blend those two colors a little bit. bit of a mistake you can just use more water and blend it out or you can allow these colors to cross over a little bit maybe they aren't completely contained and that's okay too because they'll start making a new color if you know your color mixing color theory you can mix color certain colors together and get a new color like that we got a little bit of purple because some of this blue came into the red And that is okay too. You can also take a paper towel and blot up some color if you want it to be even lighter in an area. Like that. Once your artwork is dry, you can do a couple of things. You could leave it as it is. You can use a white gel pen and do little designs. You could use white paint if you wanted to, to pop up some 
designs. I left some spaces white because I didn't want it to just all be color. Um, and I wanna bring in some more white in different ways. When you're working with markers or watercolor, it's very hard to have white. So we're gonna to need to put white back on top of all this color. And that maybe that'll be some lines or polka dots or zigzags or scallops or I don't know. Let's just play around and see what we come up with. pen, you can write the Bible verses from Mark 12, 30, and 31 to remind you to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. <music> 